Thank you so much. Um, I'm Ann Thero, a social worker with almost 30 years of experience and a member of the Together Rising Above Coercion Task Force. I'm here speaking about the following pieces of legislation, abusive litigation and coercive control. I want to first thank the chairs for listening to the important to our important testimony. <clears throat> I've seen many individuals impacted by coercive control and abusive litigation with nowhere to go and very few options at their disposal. In my career, I have worked with no less than six separate women whose spouses continue to abuse them through the court system after they left the relationship, even though I'm not in the domestic violence field directly. They tortured them by taking them back to court again and again. Not only did they impoverish them, but it forced them to keep seeing their abuser again and again. And worst of all, expose their children to forced visitations with the person who abused the, their other parent and often abused them. One woman, her son was terrified of seeing his father and experienced trauma and extreme anxiety when the time for the visits would come. He'd reported that his father regularly abused him on those visits. What was very frightening and shocking to me was that even DCF could not intervene to stop these visits. They could not intervene to stop a judge's order. This is how sick and dangerous the system is. I've also worked with survivors who have gone through years and years of psychological abuse, which included controlling and, and taking their money and tracking their whereabouts. These are usually tragic because we could do little to get and to get them no and there was no legal protection until they were choked or physically attacked we have seen women in worcester killed who could have gotten out of it if the coercive law had been in place one such death led a bunch of us um, to get organized domestic violence is one of the top four areas of need that come to the attention of the department of children and families it, it, its impact leads to innumerable social problems in the lives of survivors, which in turn costs our human service system millions of dollars. But most importantly, lives are lost because so many of the relationships that turn deadly start with these types of abuse. We do not offer victims protections until they are about to be killed or when murder has been attempted. This has got to stop. This is domestic terror. These two bills are some of the most important that you will pass in your career. We beg you to do so. Thank you. Thank you very much. 